What do you think happens with the Ron Paul um, with the Ron Paul factor moving forward? We know that Ron Paul is not planning on hotly contesting Florida because he says it's all about delegates. He said that tonight explicitly. Delegates are the name of the game, and it's winner take all in Florida. Uh, and so there will be uh, no real reason for him to spend any money there at all. He's moving on to the caucus states. That means that whoever comes out of Florida alive is still going to have to contend with him down the road and with answering whatever demands he's going he to make on the basis of his delegates. He doesn't with in any way. Ron Paul is a <laughs> protest candidate. It does, he does not belong in the serious analysis of what's happening in the Republican primary. He's going to carve out a small percentage of the vote, which, when he stops running, will go either to President Obama or sit at home or then split up to Newt Gingrich or whoever's left. So he's got 600 he, delegates he, and the Republican Party he says, is huh, not, he's, not gonna, he's not going to have any serious collection of delegates when you get to the Republican convention. He's going to be ignored. He won't get a speech. He is running in this thing. He's a libertarian running in this thing so that we will talk about him as if something real is happening. He's never going to win anything. And, you know, it, it's it's just this little parentheses that, you know, you put over here and then you watch the, what the real candidate Except for the fact that he did not get out of the race until... He'll never well, get out of the race. No reason to. All he has to do is get a, a bus ticket to the next town with the next debate. And, no he, reason to get and he keeps collecting delegates, right? I mean, the Nevada... Nothing what's that happened? matters. Hold on. Nothing I know that, that you think that it's, it's wrong of me to bring this up and it's not serious, but I think it matters. In Nevada, the Republican Party was destroyed by John Ensign and by everything else that happened around the Sharon Angle candidacy and all of that stuff. The Nevada Republican Party ceased to exist. And who took it over? The Ron Paul people. They stepped into that vacuum. And so when we head to the Nevada caucuses, Mitt Romney's already spending money there. Mitt Romney does not have to worry about the Newt Gingrich campaign apparatus in, in, in Nevada. He has to worry about trying to deny Ron Paul an outright victory there. Ron Paul continues to allocate, dele continues to go after delegates because he's going to use them for something. He has nothing he's going to use them for. There's not one thing. They won't even give he's him a speech. He's just doing it for fun? They're not going to give the legalized drugs, stop all wars guy a speech. He doesn't want a speech. The question, he's, he's already said explicitly cameras. he doesn't want them. Right. So what does he want? Does he nothing, want the platform? He change? wants attention. He wants his ideas thought about. He's getting that. He represents a significant slice of the American electorate that is actually interested in a third party. These people are not represented and will not be represented in any way by the Republican nominee. They won't be represented by the Democratic nominee. What they are interested in ultimately is a third party that's viable. And right now, if you ran that third party, it would probably get maybe 8% of the vote. Will they be disruptive, though, if he's got delegates on the floor? Will they be disruptive and, in many ways, playing to the media to get their message out, hurt the unity they're going to try to have at the party? He will have delegates on the floor. Well, he, he, I, I don't think he's going to do anything to make, in his mind, a mockery of what he has tried to do. He's trying to put together a movement. In his speech tonight, he talked about how many votes he got four years ago and uh, how, much of a, uh, how much of a movement How many he, he made. hopes to get four years from now. That, that's right. So he's, he, he wants to be recognized as somebody who has, has, has brought uh, people who are on his issues together, the Fed and the get out of wars and the right. budget and the Constitution and everything else. I, uh, but how does he I, do that if they ignore him? Well, that's why he can't go out off the rails. I mean, he has to remain somewhat, remain somewhat credible and, and not be become dismissed later on. And and he, that's a that's a high wire act he's doing right now. Uh, I, th I think that's basically where I it's think at. I think we patronize the Ron Paul movement at our peril. And I think that when you look at what's happened over the over the last eight years, not just the last four years, but with the Ron Paul movement, the Republican Party has no energy greater than the energy around the Ron Paul candidacy. And he's decided not to run as a libertarian candidate this time. He's done that in the past. He's not doing it. He's building towards something. There are no young people evident in any other rallies who are not either bust in for B from BYU for Mitt Romney or related by birth, marriage, or some sort of cousin structure to one of the other candidates. There's no young people who are participating in Republican Party politics right now who aren't either related or interested in Ron Paul. So I think we can be patronizing to them, but I think that it comes back and bites us when they actually start changing things inside that party. Uh, 